In this video lesson, you'll learn how to paint a brightly lit marina in watercolor. Here is the finished artwork I will achieve by the end of this lesson. It is late afternoon. Cast shadows are already long. The sky is clear and blue, and the boat is lit by sunshine. I start by making a preliminary sketch on location, to decide on the composition. We are now back at the studio, and I am starting this painting with the cold blue colour of the sky. I am using hot-pressed 300 GSM watercolour paper. Its smooth surface is ideal for making very detailed artworks. According to the rules of aerial perspective, faraway objects are light and blue. The closer objects are, the warmer they look. Gradually, colours of the background will warm up as I am coming closer to the middle ground. I am now painting wet on dry in small brush strokes, depicting the texture of the background. I wet the paper once again, because it dries quickly. As we come closer to the foreground, I change brush for the bigger one, to make wider and bigger brush strokes. Because I am painting the outdoor scenery, shadows are cold. They are coloured by blue sky. I not only removed a few boats from the marina, but also composed the layout so that it follows the golden proportion. For example, the placement of the boat's mast is not accidental. It divides the width of the artwork in the golden ratio. You can see that the measurement A to measurement B is the same as the width of the artwork C to the distance from the left edge to the mast, which is equal to the golden proportion, 1.6. You may also notice that the primary and secondary golden proportion grid coincides with many key places within this artwork, such as the outlines of hills, buildings, roofs, and the boat. Here is the Princeton Neptune brush, as suggested by its name, it looks like a dagger. This is because it has a special shape that holds a lot of water, and at the same time is able to produce very thin and long lines. There are more seascape and marinascape video lessons to come in the Watercolour Academy course.